First place check, the Olympia qualification, and the title of 2017 Tampa Pro Men's 212 winner, give it up for Mr. USA, Barry Wentzler. Hey everybody, Manda Spalka here with Maximum Muscle Report. We're at the 10th anniversary of the 2017 Titan Medical Tampa Pro. Guys, you won't believe it. Last weekend's Mr. USA, Derek Lunsford came in today and just won his pro debut and now is going to the O. Derek. Oh my gosh, brother. I don't know what you want me to say, man. You put the mic in front of you. You keep talking, man. <laughs> no, I just, just want to say thank you, everybody, from the bottom of my heart. I know everybody says, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, when they win and, and uh, whatever. But seriously, from the bottom of my heart, I'm so grateful for all of you. I um, love you all. Everybody, you know, my mom, my grandma, uh, Jelson, my girlfriend, all my friends and family back home. Um, James Brown, my coach, Animal for supporting me, Mall Nutrition for supporting Mandis and Maximus support, supporting me. But most importantly, all you, you fans of the sport, I'm not gonna even going to call you my fans. It's not. You're fans of bodybuilding. You just like my physique or like what I, I, I present. And I appreciate all of you and all of your support. Um, I love you all. You're what keep, are who keep me motivated. Um, you know, we got, what is it, six weeks? Six, six weeks. weeks to the O. I'm bringing everything I got just for you guys. You know, Derek, it, it, it's interesting. It was only a year ago that we were talking. You won the overall at Juniors. You went to USA's. Yeah. You almost won it there. Mm -hmm. Things happen for a reason. Oh, oh, man. Things happen for a reason. Yeah, uh, that's what, yeah. Oh, last year when I, I took second as a middle, um, a lot of you have my back and said, oh, you should have been a pro, blah, blah. You know what? You know what I said? I responded to that. I said, everything happens for a reason. And it's the best possible thing that could happen yeah. to you at that time. And even if you don't think it is, I wanted to turn pro then. I was, it wasn't ready. It wasn't God's plan. So you know what? Like I said, it was the best possible thing that could happen to me. I was a light heavy this year. I, I, I was crown an honor with Mr. USA last weekend. I turned around, you know, won this pro show. It's all in God's timing. It's all in the perfect timing. And I am blessed and thankful that I was given the opportunity to compete in the NPC one more year. And now as an IFBB, the rest of my life, the rest of my bodybuilding career, I'm just, I'm so thankful the way everything's turned out. Turned out. You know, and, and I don't think enough people know you're a great bodybuilder, but I, I think they're starting to hear you and starting to get to know yeah. you. We've known you a while. You're a great guy. Thank you're you. a great ambassador of the sport. Thank you. You're a genuine person. You're, you're just a a good old mid Midwestern boy, man. man that's, that's it. That's what we try to be around there in the Midwest, right? That's it. That's that's, it. Yeah. So that's why you guys start off Midwest Muscle Report because you're trying to bring us all together. That's right. And that's exactly what we did. Now it's Maximum Muscle Report. So, I mean, it, it's growing. We're all, we're all growing together. Um, it doesn't matter if you're from uh, even the United States. I was cracking jokes with, with Sammy. He's from Bahrain or however you, however you say it. Oh my, <laughs> but, and then uh, the Korean guys, uh, whatever their name is, I, for, I forget. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be as disrespectful. But, man, we were cracking jokes. And having a great time and and they were all saying man you like what I'm trying to do with like joking around keeping it light and like just bringing the camaraderie they're like this is what we've all wanted and this is what us older guys like we like we've we've had this we just you know we're not as outspoken about it this is what we want with the younger generations and the upcoming national competitors turning pro we want it to to be fun and enjoyable for everyone um, and and really like the camaraderie backstage is uh, it's it's incredible. It's awesome. That's why I love coming to these events. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, and if you guys don't know, now you know. But go ahead and watch. We've been covering him for a while. We actually had a road yeah. to the USA series. Guys, go. There's five, six, seven episodes on there. I was a little fat at the first, so disregard <laughs> that. Those are the ones you really want to <laughs> no, see. No, no. <laughs> no, no. Now, now, Derek. You know, Steve came back here and had some words of encouragement for you. Uh, enjoy the night and get right back on it. You know, you thought the biggest show of your life was a week ago. You were Mr. USA. Yeah. Then the biggest show of your life was, was today. Right, right. And you're crowned a champion. Dude. Now you have 
the biggest show of your life going to the Olympia. Yeah, I've had some some people that some of you have supported me that I really look up look up to. That's um, made some comments that held high expectations of me. I, I hold high expectations of yeah. myself, but a lot of you who I look up to, um, John Meadows being one of them. Uh, Jose Raymond, Raymond being another have said some pretty um, outstanding things about what they believe I can I can do and uh, it's it's time that I have to uphold that now and it's it's it was mind blowing to think that they uh, they made these statements and then now it's all coming true it's uh, man I'm just trying to wrap my head up. this just happened five minutes ago right. <laughs> so well you know they have high expectations but maybe something a lot of people don't know. You have awfully high expectations oh, of yourself. Man, you know, we had you in for Junior Nationals. You were helping do show coverage. You were doing yeah. interviews. And, and you were on a treadmill. It was, it was probably midnight. I was on a stair mill. Yeah, on a stair, <laughs> yeah, yeah, on a stair <laughs> mill. It was probably midnight. We, after Second we were session. done covering, covering the show, Brent Swanson, yourself, and, and me, we were in there getting a quick one in. Yeah. And you said, you know, I've got some plans. I've got some plans. It looks like your plans are coming to fruition a lot sooner than anyone else ever I, dreamed. I, I think what I said was um, I have some goals and um, ideas and plans and aspirations that are unfathomable to most people. They think if I said it out loud, they would right. say, what the heck? What, like, that's not even possible. Like, right. like, like, who can do that? Or, or why would you want to sacrifice so much to even do that? Like, is it, it's not even possible. Um, but that's just how my mind operates. Like, whether I can ever achieve the things that I want to achieve is one thing, but I'm going to give it everything I have every second of every day to be the best I could possibly be towards these goals. And I'm going to try my best to do it with the best possible attitude I, I can um, and, and being professional and doing it the right way. That's, that's, that's you know, giving you a little bit of insight. I got some high goals. Derek. That explains why a week ago you were Mr. USA. Today, in your pro debut, you just won a Tampa Pro, yeah, and you're on your way to the Olympia. That, that's true. why you are who you are and accomplishing the things you're accomplishing. Right. Derek, it's always a Thank pleasure. You. Pleasure's mine. Congratulations once Thank again. You. I'm glad we were here to yeah. see it all. Thank you. Uh, glad to be a part of your journey yeah. um, and hope to be a part of it for many, Absolutely. many more years. Absolutely. Anything I can do. Got anybody you want to thank? Oh man, uh, like I said, I want to thank first of all my family, uh, my mom who's here, my grandma who's here. I said it on stage, are the ones in the, that were in the front crying. Uh, they're my biggest supporters for sure. And Jelson, my girlfriend, wow, I love all you, and you, you guys have been amazing. Um, three best women in, in the world. Uh, my coach James Brown, who's helped me before I, he was even my coach. He was, I was a young punk kid that came into a supplement store and and at the gym asking him ridiculous questions. When I mean ridiculous, they were like dude kid just shut up and let me train um, but he was patient with me and helped me through so James thank you uh, for guiding the way um, you know of course I gotta thank God he's you know I pray 24 7 that uh, you know his everything I do is in his plan um, I want to thank Animal because they, they supported me and they're sponsoring me and helping me um, you know from before my name started blowing up before the USA's uh, so they had faith in me before all of this uh, Mall Nutrition same thing they've helped me with my meals um, and everybody else that's on Facebook or Instagram or whatever like I said that come to these shows or even at the gym you know if, even if it's just a quick little selfie with me or or hey man you look awesome or or whatever you inspire me like that is what keeps me going keeps me going strong um, um, really quickly like our plan was to do the USA's and then this show right afterwards and then you know go to the off season but um, you know things you know for, for health purposes you know keep my body prime and ready but um, but you guys are the ones that are keeping me going and pushing hard through the Olympia and then I don't know what is beyond that I'm just taking everything one step at a time Absolutely. so thank I think all of you from the bottom of my heart sincerely um, let's do this let's do it together one year ago the overall winner at Junior Nationals, last week Mr. USA, today your Tampa Pro 212 champion. Six weeks the Olympia, let's see what the future holds. Thank Derek so Mandis, on behalf of Maximum Muscle Report, until next time guys, we're out.